Well, the Great Fen is one of our living landscapes, and that means it's got a, quite a range of habitats, in fact. Uh, people think of it as a wetland, but it's actually a mosaic of different habitats. We've got woodland, we've got grassland, open water, reed bed, marsh, basically the fen, and that means a lot of different species of wildlife, lots of different types of wildlife in all sorts of numbers. And at the top of that are the predators. And the Great Fen is big enough to support prey and these big fierce animals, or in this case birds. So the raptors, or birds of prey, they come in and they can take advantage of all the different opportunities provided. So some birds, like for example shorted owls, they might be feeding here in the winter over the grasslands. Other birds, for example hobbies, they'll be feeding on the dragonflies in the summer over the wetlands. And when you multiply this up, over a large scale, that means we have a great diversity of raptors here throughout the year. I'm a naturalist and always a photographer, so you're always looking for that next encounter and you wonder what you're going to see next, whether it's with a conventional camera or something like a trail camera. All of a sudden, there's a little kestrel that's landed on the ground in front of your trail camera or you happen to be going through the fen doing a different sort of survey and all of a sudden uh, a ringtail, a female hen harrier flies past in front of you. It's these special encounters particularly with the birds of prey which are, are really great because they are bigger, they are special and because they're very mobile you never know when you're going to come across something. You find that um, raptors really showing that things are working uh, with predators, they need a whole wealth of wildlife underneath them to support them. And so when you've got this wealth of wildlife in a range of habitats, then you start to get more of the interesting species like the birds of prey. And so here in the Great Fen, we have owls, we have hawks, we have falcons, ospreys turn up, we have buzzards. And, you know, you can joke, perhaps the only things we don't have are eagles and vultures. Although this year, you know, they were around not far away, so you never know what's going to turn up yet. And having a living landscape on a grand scale means all things are possible with conservation here. <laughs>